leave the dads out here with the kids in the pumpkin patch and moms can hit the closet. The closet's actually having their whole a boutique patar boutique party on Friday, November 12th, and it's great Christmas shopping. There'll be a food truck, some adult libations to enjoy. Yes, okay, I want to hit that again. Friday, November 12th, there's a party out here. You can go shopping in the closet. You can enjoy the pumpkin patch, maybe get a start on your Christmas shopping, enjoy some adult beverages and some treats that the kids can enjoy as well. So I wanted to hit that. Ryan, our photographer, is walking around showing the pumpkin patch area, and throughout the pumpkin patch, area you have moments here to capture for a great picture that's right we have over here we have the doors the shutters we have an old semi truck over here that makes for a great backdrop we've had families bring out their photographers and get it done professionally it's awesome it's really cool that it is free to get in here so you can just come park walk on in and then uh, it's buy one get one free pumpkin and you have plenty of different pumpkins to choose from that's right, we have the Cinderella's, the fairy tales, your traditional carving pumpkins, and even some Jaredales. You said that you guys sourced all these pumpkins locally? We did, we bought from a farmer here in Coarse Gold. That's awesome, so supporting local, helping local. How can people contact you guys or find more information? Um, you can go to our Instagram, which is how Drive on in, the game you mentioned. Or you can just drive on in. The gates are always open, 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. All right, Dallas, thank you so much. We've had such a fun morning painting pumpkins. I, I love the pumpkin I painted. They're a little bit better artists than I am, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, who knew that as an adult, painting pumpkins could be such a blast, <laughs> Brody? Oh, yeah, it's a great time out there. So much you can do. And, hey, dads like to shop, too, Caroline. <laughs> KC 24 sunrise time is 639 still ahead. The Madera Fairgrounds hosting a drive through trick or treat. More on that. Ruben. And I think we're going to talk to them live coming up. First, your 40 algae forecast brought to you by Boz Allergy. We are in the low range through Sunday. Elm and Juniper, the top pollens. And we have temperatures in the 70s for today. But will that continue into Halloween? We'll talk about that as KC Sunrise continues. In business, Setbacks change everything. So get Comcast Business Internet and add Security Edge. It helps keep your network safe by scanning for threats every 10 minutes. And unlike some cybersecurity options, this helps protect every connected device. Yours, your employees, and even your customers. So you can stay ahead. Get started with a great offer and ask how you can add Comcast Business Security Edge. Plus, for a limited time, ask how to get a $500 prepaid card when you upgrade. Call today. I'm sure glad we went to Les Schwab. I'm glad. I'm just glad that along with tires, Les Schwab also does brakes, alignment, and a bunch of other safety services. I mean, if we'd gone to a cheap tire store instead, I'd be a doggone wreck. My thoughts exactly. Les Schwab Tires. Proud to be ranked number one in overall customer satisfaction for aftermarket tire replacement by J.D. Power two years in a row. Save now with holiday deals. Get 30% off St. Nicholas Square, find all their favorite toys, and get 30% off holiday decor. Plus, get $10 off your purchase, an extra 20 or 30% off, and Kohl's cash. Kohl's. Attention golfers, are your clubs right for you? Come to the pros who know at Roger Dunn. Their experts will test your swing on the Flight Scope Golf Simulator. Roger Dunn will show you the difference between your existing clubs and the latest clubs from Callaway, TaylorMade, Tylus, Ping, and more. And remember, you're number one at Roger Dunn. Ray loves vacations, but his diabetes never seemed to take one. Everything felt like a no. Everything. But then Ray went from no to no. With Freestyle Libre 2, now he knows his glucose levels when he needs to and when he wants to. So Ray can be Ray. Take the mystery out of your glucose levels and lower your A1C. Now you know. Try it for free. Visit FreestyleLibre.us. 
Welcome back on this Thursday morning. We've got a few areas of fog, other parts of the valley, seeing a little bit of haze, even some cloud cover. Fresno seeing that haze mainly to the east. This is a line picture from our valley cam at KC24. You can see the Sierra right here, but there's a thin layer of haze mainly impacting the east side of the valley. Then we have clear skies above, uh, making for a beautiful sunrise here. A little chilly in some parts of the valley, though, and those are the areas where we are seeing some fog develop, a little dense in some areas. Mile and a half visibility in Hanford, four miles in Porterville, and four miles in Merced. Some points in between uh, Madera and Merced reporting some uh, patchy fog that's a little dense, even western Fresno County now. But in the city of Fresno, out towards the airport, as we just showed you that live picture, visibility is okay. It's 10 miles. Those areas seen a little bit of fog this morning, upper 40s to low 50s, uh, cool enough to outproduce the fog because temperatures are cooling to their dew points. The cloud cover early on this morning for a mixture of haze actually kept things kind of mild for Madera and Fresno. Uh, temperatures right now in the 50s. Everyone is warmer compared to this time yesterday. 7 degrees warmer in Fresno, 9 degrees warmer for Madera, and 5 degrees warmer for Visalia. We are going to see that haze linger for a good portion of the day. Might even see a few passing high clouds from time to time. Not expecting any rain because high pressure is now over us and warming up our temperatures for the rest of the week. It is creating a strong offshore flow for Southern California. Wind will be a bit of a concern if you're traveling south through the Interstate 5 or the 58. Temperatures are going to be uh, warm, but that wind will start to uh, increase later on this afternoon. Everything's calm on our radar and things will be quiet for quite some time. Future cash those, those passing clouds from time to time. And as we move forward into Halloween week, in. Still going to be kind of mild, but temperatures start to cool off to below average for core conditions. Air quality, good in Merced and Madera counties, moderate for Fresno, Kings, and Tulare counties. Same deal for Sequoia and Astor Park. Temperatures today in the 70s, 72 in Delano, 75 for Kettleman City, 74 for Delano, 74 in Selma, 60 in Sequoia, and 61 in China Peak, 73 in Aubrey, 76 for Fireball, 74 for Merced, and 70 in Yosemite Valley this afternoon. Temperatures a little warm for this time of year, just by a few degrees. Average is now 70 three will go for a high of 75 in Fresno. Those areas of patchy fog will linger just for a few hours this morning. As of right now, we are not under a dense fog advisory this afternoon. Warmer temperatures, winds will be fairly light. And of course, this evening, mostly clear skies, some patchy fog once again. But we are starting to see a less dense fog each morning as we start to move forward into the later part of the week. As we move uh, further and further away from that system that we had early on in the week that produced all the rain, we're starting to dry out. Low 50s for most of the valley for tonight. And of course, things are very comfortable in the midday hours into the afternoon afternoon to walk your pup. Of course, just look out for areas of patchy fog. If you're going to be out early on this morning walking them and it's going to be kind of chilly. 60s by the midday hours and mid 70s by the afternoon. This is our friend Harley. Thank you to Crystal Curtis for sending this picture to me on my Facebook page. If you want your pup featured here in Casey Sunrise, just go to Ruben Casey 24 and we will show it right here. Seven day forecast shows we are going to be in the 70s for a few more days, maybe even getting close to the 80s or moving into the 80s tomorrow. As we start off the Halloween weekend, we drop into the low 70s. So it'll be cooler from time to time and we will see some clouds here and there. No rain expected. 69, the forecast high. Halloween evening, things will be fairly pleasant. Temperatures in the 60s for most of the night. And then once we move forward into the new work week, we're going to be right around 70 degrees. Seeing cloudy skies on Monday, but it looks like things will be dry for the valley. And low 70s, upper 60s, pretty seasonable for early November. YourCentralValley.com has all the latest weather information you need to know any time of the day. So check it out anytime you want. For now, we will send it back to you. Well, this year, Halloween falls on a weekend, but you don't need to have the kids go door to door Sunday night. The Madera Fair is offering a drive through trick or treat event for families. Event coordinator Barbara Leach joins us to talk about all the fun you can have out there. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, what is this event maybe for someone who's never been to a drive through trick or treat event? Well, it's essentially that you load up your car, put the kiddos in there and you get to our gates and you drive through this fantastic community made uh, route that has decorated cars decorated spaces and a lot of homemade um, decorations that our crew and staff has put together and you're gonna get candy oh. unique to our <laughs> unique to ours is um, it's ten dollars per car that covers everybody but when you get into the gates your kiddos are gonna get handed this net and they're gonna take send that out to our um, partners and get lots of candy as they go through um, our route Oh, that's such a cool that's a such a cool concept. I thought I thought we were going to be catching butterflies, to be honest. Um, are there are there any special rules along with this for this kind of type of event? No special rules other than you need a ticket to get in. We do ticket it just so that we can be sure that we have all the supplies and we can provide a quality and excellent event for those who come through. So you would hit midairfair.com forward slash tickets and grab one of those car passes. Um, now nah, you just get in your car, you ride along. We've seen last year was our first year doing it. 
we did it primarily out of lockdown to create a safe um, and socially distant event at that time. But we had so many calls. Are you doing it again? Are you doing it again? And I think families just like loading up the car, driving through, seeing it, knocking out some trick or treating, getting a load of candy <laughs> all in one swoop. And so, um, yeah, really successful. Our community loved it last year and they were asking for it again this year. So here we are. Okay, that's great. Is, is there anything beyond, uh, say, what, what you drive through and see and, and getting the candy? Are there, are there any other added benefits here? Outside of our um, actual route in our parking lot, we do have some food trucks, and that's open to the community on Sunday night. So you can swoop through trick-or-treating, grab some tacos in our lot outside our grounds, or if you're just cruising through Madero on Sunday night and you want to grab something to eat, you're welcome to come by for that as well. Okay, are there any scare zones or anything anything gonna be surprising there well we do have a what well, they called a haunted wall so there's a group that comes in and it has like pop outs and tricks but you're driving by and so it's not like a traditional haunted house or something that i would say next level scary and we actually have a bypass lane so if you feel like that's too much for your kiddos you can go around it and then dip back into the trick-or-treat okay that's that's good to know if there are any parts that maybe you think might be too scary for the little ones I like that you have an area you can bypass. Yeah, we do. We do. Barbara Leach, So we're thank looking forward to seeing folks. Yeah. Oh, and uh, real quickly, is there, is there a charity component to this? There, well, there is. We, um, over the last year and a half, uh, we have worked with Madera County Food Bank for food distributions and so help serve them in that way. And they wanted to partner with us. And actually, they're helping to give back to this event and presenting this event with us this weekend. Okay, that's fantastic because mm -hmm. so many people use their services and need their services, especially ahead of the holidays. Barbara Leach, thank you so much. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people will be coming out to that event this weekend. KC 24 Sunrise Time, 648, still had new developments coming from the movie set Rust, where a crew member was tragically killed in a prop gun accident. More on that next. For three and a half decades has delivered important news. Fire crews on the scene of a fire at a senior community. News that's changed our lives. How bad is the damage out there where you are? Local stories that have changed us. Local stories that matter. All from right here, straight to your home. With our commitment to local news, never stronger. It's local news that matters. Just you watch. What is scary? Prepare for an event. I pity the fool! So shocking, you can't escape. The big reveal. Halloween. Halloween begins Friday, only on today. Money trouble? In a forbearance? Feeling financially hopeless? I'm Julia Tadich, and Clovis First Mortgage can help you with a home loan to meet your individual cash out refinance needs. Rely on our decades of experience. Call us today. There's more to the ultimate driving machine than you might think. Multiple forces converging to create something uncontainable. Introducing the ultimate first of its kind machine. The ultimate hair raising machine. And the ultimate peace of mind machine. BMW 330i sedan for $449 per month. The Bennett's really know how to put their Wi-Fi to work. It'll work. It worked. Or a workout. I'm working. They've got Xfinity, which delivers Wi-Fi faster than a gig for all their devices. It's more than enough to keep everyone working. Can your internet do that? This is work. This is hard. Learn more about gig speed Wi-Fi. Or get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months. Click, call, or visit a store today. If you aren't actively monitoring your solar system, you're risking a costly true-up bill at the end of the year. Don't you know there's an app for that, Helen? Just monitor it yourself. Trust me. Sure, you could, but would you know what to look for? And if there's a problem, are you going to fix it yourself? This app counts all the money on my desk. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't waste your money. At Solar Negotiators, we monitor your system, catching issues before they become problems. It's what we like to call a lifetime of solar success. 
I'm Julia Tadich. Any realtor can say they can get you the best financial outcome for the sale or purchase of a home, but it takes decades of experience to back that up. Clovis First Real Estate offers that level of experience and more. So if you're looking to buy or sell, call us now. KC24 News is brought to you in part by Brandon Calhoun, financial planner. This is KC24 Sunrise. All right, we have the latest updates on the tragic death of Helena Hutchins on the set of Alec Baldwin's new film, Rust. Investigators have recovered at least three weapons from the set of the movie, along with roughly 500 rounds of ammunition, a mixture of blanks, dummy rounds, and likely live ammo. The assistant director who handed Baldwin the guns stated in an affidavit that he did not properly check the gun before rehearsing the scene. We're going to determine how those got there, why they were there, because they shouldn't have been there. As the investigation continues, more attention has been placed on the movie's armor, Hannah Gutierrez. Gutierrez oversees guns and gun safety on the set of the film. Um, is a huge red flag. Qualifications, experience, let me say that again, experience is the biggest safety factor an armor has to know what's going to happen before it happens. After the events on the set of the movie, workers in the film industry are calling for stricter safety protocols and scenes with weapons. Production on the set remains halted. And in and out reopens after it was briefly shut down because it would not comply with Contra Costa County vaccine mandates. Demonstrators have shown up in support of in and outs resistance toward vaccine mandates throughout the state. At the Pleasant Hill location, a band came out, showed their support. This in and out believes these mandates are an overreach of the government's power. While Pfizer awaits the official go-ahead from government regulators, the drug maker is busy producing pediatric doses of its COVID-19 vaccine. The FDA approved the use in children aged 5 to 11 years old, but now the CDC must review the data and give its final stamp of approval. If they get the green light, these doses, especially marked you see there with orange lids, that way they won't get confused with the adult doses, will be shipped across the country. Governor Newsom got his COVID-19 booster shot while visiting a health clinic in Oakland. Boosters have been approved for the Pfizer. Originally got the J&J &J vaccine, but received a Moderna booster shot. Governor Newsom says he mixes vaccine types to drive home the point that people can safely mix and match their shots. KC 24 Sunrise Time 654. We're going to take a look at this morning's top stories, but first, here's what's coming up on the Today Show at 7. Good morning, guys. Coming up on today, the New Mexico Sheriff leading the investigation into that tragic movie set shooting will join us live. He'll update us on where things stand with possible criminal charges after revealing a live bullet was used. Also ahead, a Today exclusive, Chanel has one mother's inspiring story of hope and forgiveness after she was badly hurt in a frightening shopping cart attack 10 years ago. We'll have that, plus we're celebrating 100 days to go until the 2022 Winter Olympics. In a big way, our plaza will be filled with Team USA hopefuls, including skiing super... Winter Games ever. When we see you in just a bit, right here on Today. The hottest Halloween costumes this season. A flight attendant, Britney Spears, even a smoking hot astronaut. If Jeff Bezos can go to outer space, then so... Inside Edition, tonight at 7 on KC24. Many places full of history mark the valley. Join me as I take you on a tour of the people and places that made history right here in our backyard. This week, roads, race cars, and a new town. On the map, Thursdays at 6 on KC24. It's the Valley Animal Center Trunk or Treat Car Show, October 30th. There will be candy for your ghouls and goblins, and dead music, food, and contests for the whole year. The Valley Animal Center Trunk or Treat Car Show, October 30th. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. here on 109.3 K. Morning. Hey. We're going with another classic one from Jet Hands. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Smells great. Doesn't it? Good night. Good night. Mix and match two for just three fifty, like a sausage McMuffin and hash browns, or a sausage burrito and hash browns, and pair it with a one dollar any size Dr Pepper. You realize what matters. These moments where tears and laughter mix, they hold our attention. They hold us together. 
It's why we hope, why we work, and it's how we live. I hold with you for life. Just outside of a town called Basic is Basic Lake, where families gather together for some basic fun. And if you have the 2021 Nissan Rogue with five drive modes, you can climb above Basic and find a trail where no one else goes. The 2021 Nissan Rogue. Anything but Basic. Get a low 219 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models. Our dedicated chocolatiers handcraft our special delights. Hand dipped, hand finished, hand wrapped. When you see homemade on the label, now you know exactly what it means. Stafford's Chocolates, Mama Ganache, and the Swedish Candy Factory. Why was Jacoby Myers voted the number one injury law firm three years in a row? Because we have experienced attorneys, we deliver for our clients, and we win again and again. Choose. It's the Valley Animal Center Trunk or Treat Car Show, October 30th. There will be candy for your ghouls and goblins, undead music, food, and contests for the whole family. It's free, and that's not scary. The Valley Animal Center Trunk or Treat Car Show, October 30th. <laughs> KC24 News is brought to you in part by Calviva Health, your local health plan. Here's a look at today's top stories. This is a lot scheduled to speak about the state of his Build Back Better program and bipartisan infrastructure deal. The president is meeting with lawmakers in Congress this morning to negotiate a deal to try and pass his spending bill. The president is expected to begin speaking around 8.30 this morning. We will have the latest for you on KC24. 24 News. Investigators are working to figure out what caused a house fire in southeast Fresno. It happened around 5 a.m. Firefighters say the small fire was quickly put out within two minutes. No one was inside. The same house, though, caught fire several weeks ago. A man is now facing charges after police say he was involved in a domestic disturbance in Clovis. Police say it was in a neighborhood near Armstrong and Alluvial. The victim was able to leave the home and call police. Police also say the suspect, 26-year-old Jake Chavaria, was wanted for multiple domestic violence-related felonies. Chavaria was found in Northeast Fresno home Wednesday afternoon where he was taken into custody. Ruben. It is chilly out there this morning. We do got some patchy fog in certain parts of the valley, but other parts of the valley enjoying a really beautiful sunrise this morning. That's the case in Fresno. Life to the uh, south. Valley Cam here at our studios looking off to the uh, southeast. You see the sunlight starting to peak over the mountain range and some haze out there, even a few high clouds over Fresno. Other parts of the valley you've seen some dense fog this morning. We are not under, not under an advisory right now, but visibility is down to mile three quarters in Hanford, five miles in Visalia and six in Merced. Temperatures are in the 40s and 50s as we move forward in the next few days. It's going to be a little bit warmer. 70s the next few days. Halloween, 69. No need to worry about rain for trick-or-treaters. Things look pretty good. We'll send it back to you. All right, stay tuned for the Today Show. That's on next. We'll be back at 11 for KC24 Midday. Have a great morning. Investigators now confirming the crew member killed on the set of Alec Baldwin's movie was shot by a real bullet. We're going to determine how those got there, why they were there, because they shouldn't have been there. New questions this morning. How did it get there? Where did it come from? And will criminal charges be filed in the case? on that investigation. Desperate for a deal, President Biden delaying his trip to Europe and heading to Capitol Hill this morning to try and secure an agreement with Democrats on his economic agenda. An 11th hour change being made to drop a key...